friends, today we're going to read the story, Why Should I Protect Nature? And this goes along with our social responsibility uh, science unit. Some of our morning videos have been fun and not about our science, but we're going to get back to it a little bit with our morning video. So we're going to read together, Why Should I Protect Nature? It was illustrated by Mike Gordon. Why should I protect nature? Why should I protect nature? Nature is the big wild world all around us, from giant oak trees to little acorns and wiggling worms. The birds chirping in the trees are part of nature. So is the salty smell of the sea, splashing in rain puddles, and the soft fur on donkey's nose. I used to find nature boring <sighs> or pesky, shoo, shoo, or creepy, Ooh, yuck. But then our class went on a trip. On our trip, we went to the sea and we looked at tide pools. It was great. On the way home, we had a picnic in the park. Everyone got a bit rowdy. Carl and Marina broke some branches. I threw a soda can. John picked some flowers. And Sally tried to swat a bee. Our teacher, Miss Wade, said we should protect nature, not hurt it. Uh, why should I protect nature? She asked, what do you think would happen if everyone broke off the branches? Uh, we couldn't climb the trees. If everyone broke the branches, the trees would have no leaves left and they couldn't grow properly. Birds couldn't nest in their branches. And guess what would happen if we all picked flowers and we all swatted bees? The bee, mm -hmm. I don't know. There would be no flowers left and we'd have no honey for breakfast. And what would happen if we all dropped litter wherever we liked? The countryside would be knee-deep in paper, plastic, and tin cans. Birds and other animals could choke or get trapped in litter and they could die. No trees, no flowers, no honey, no animals. <laughs> that would be terrible. So how could we help nature instead? Well, instead of picking the flowers, we could plant the flowers in the corner of a garden. Butterflies and bees love flowers, so they'll visit too. We could plant a tree instead of breaking branches. Cleaning up litter keeps nature looking lovely and it helps animals and birds. So now we have fun protecting nature. After all, people are part of nature too. All right, the end my friends. Today, you're going to tell me how you can protect nature. I want three reasons, three reasons how you can protect nature. Uh, you can go back to our previous writing unit about being persuasive and you can write me a letter. Dear Mrs. Rodriguez, these are the reasons we should protect nature. Reason one, hmm. Reason two, hmm. And reason three, hmm. Will you help me? From, hmm. All right, write me a persuasive letter to Miss Rodriguez, post it on your seesaw, and I look forward to reading it. Until later, bye.